Hey everyone, Newman here with 910 Air Gun Tuning and Repairs. Today we have an Impact M3. I'm going to be showing you real quick how to change the lever over from one side to the other side. So basically we're going to do a, a right hand to a left hand swap today. There will be three tools that you need. The first is a 1.5 mil Allen. The next will be a 564th inch pin punch or smaller. And then the last will be a 2.5 millimeter Allen. These don't have to be a, uh, you know, speed drives, quick connect drives like this. They can be standard hex keys uh, as long as they're the right size though. And like I said, it can be smaller than a 564th. That's just what I'm using today. Okay, so the first step of this process is there's two screws that cover up the pins that hold the lever and the linkage in place. So two screws right there, very small. And we're taking our 1.5, there we go, our 1.5, and just gonna extract these. They are very small. You can't even get the focus, it's so small. Set that down. Don't let them roll away. And there you go, there's the other one. Okay, so now that we got the screws out, we can lay the rifle back down and go to over to our pin punch. There's access holes on the bottom. Try to shine some light on, there we go. So there's one right there. And there's one right there. So, take the pin punch and punch it out. And there you go, there's your lever. Now this is where the 2.5 is coming in the hand because when we flip this over to the other side, as you notice the handle is in the wrong direction. So what we gotta do, is take the 2.5 in here and take this lever, or this, uh, lever handle off. And there's your set, there's your screw right there. Take it and just flip it over. Drop that screw back in. And tighten it up. All right, so now we're ready to flip this rifle over to this side and get that lever installed. So the very first step, We'll be able to take the lever, put it into place just like that. Then we're going to take one of our pins, drop it in. It should be fairly simple to find that hole. There you go. Slid right in. Don't have to worry about it coming out. The set screws there just for uh, in case of travels and such like that. So while we're reinstalling, the set screw will be last. Take our second pin, wow, that went in really easy for me. You might have to fight a little bit uh, to locate the second one because it's a little bit smaller, uh, or as in there's a smaller tolerance in there, tighter tolerance. Uh, but yeah, you get both pins in there. Now it's working. Now we're going to put the set screws back in and that'll be the last step. Again, this is the 1.5. Take the set screw, set it onto the tip, push in the pin the rest of the way, start the screw, and you don't have to tighten these very tight, just very, just, just barely hand, finger tight. 
So again, screw, set on top of the pin, push down, turn it in, just finger tight. And there you have it. Now, you've got your cocking lever on the left side of the rifle. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below or shoot me an email over to info at 910agtrllc.com or you can head over to the website, uh, take off info at, and you've got the website there, 910agtrllc.com. All right, happy shooting.